What we do with that is we structure training, we analyze mistakes, we check the evolution of our fighters. Beginners, they think that fighting is all about technique. Beginners, they think that speed is what makes the difference. I can tell you that the, some of the best fighters in the world, one of the best fighters in the world is called Robbie McManamy. And he's not known for his speed. He's known for this, he's known for this. He's able to solve problems. He has a good technique. He's fast, but for sure, where he's great is here. Then and beginners, they think, oh, I'm fast, boom, boom, boom. And then they, they jump and they can think, they, they, because they don't, they don't solve problems. They think they are fast. Then this is how you structure the fight in your mind. When I was asking you, what is the, how you describe fight? Someone said strategy. I think they were thinking about these two levels of the fight. Okay? Nobody told me about distance. Fine. If I tell you what is fight, I can, I can understand how, what is your level of thinking of fight. For me, fighting is about the communication, the problem, the situation. Does it make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we use different training methods for different levels. Because if I want to train the technique, the, what for example is the training method is repetition. Okay? If I want to have a clear technique, I have to repeat it. Fine. But I'm, I'm working at the technique level. You jump, you, I've been all over the world and I saw that sometimes, okay, we train and we train technique and the day after, we train against technique and the day after, okay, well now we train on kicks and the day after, okay, and then we fight then basically, we move from here to here just jumping, totally, okay, okay, I have the tools this is, okay, this is an approach. I mean, I want to promote a different approach, a better structured approach. Okay, repetition, perfect. Distance, I want to train distance. I call this repetition a variable distance. Where you put, you and distance awareness, when you start to understand that the technique is a tool, then you cover a distance, you need to be able to apply that to a variable distance. Okay? Second, third level is time. It's variable time. Training. is where I train the people to execute the technique before, after, or during the execution of another guy. La parte del tiempo significa que... Primero, la escala tiene que ser así, desarrollar una técnica, una distancia, pero el tiempo es fundamental porque hay que hacer ejercicios en los cuales el alumno aprenda a elegir el tiempo apropiado para ejecutar la técnica en la distancia apropiada. Entonces, todo va concentrando. Sí. Fourth level situation. Then we shift from the technique and we go to problems. That's why I call this this, this uh, method of training multi-solution approach. The, then here we move to problems. I give you a problem and you have to solve that problem. Okay? I give you a problem, we're gonna go back later, and you have two, three technique that must be applied at the right distance, at the right time to solve a problem. You have someone who is kicking, for example, okay, you can, or checking with your legs, or doing a spin kick, or move out and blitz. Okay, what does it mean? That we are shifting the focus from the technique point of view to the situation point of view. I have a problem, I have different technique that can be done at different distance, it can be done at different timing, and myself, I have to, to to learn how to solve the problem. Okay? 
uh, you see the fight is get complex and complex and you I think most of the people they don't even think about that. They just okay I, I, I mean I've been really all over 70% of the schools is about this level. They, they don't even think that the people, they structure, and this is how knowledge is structured in the fight, from simple to complex. Uh, what does it mean to do 100 reverse punch or one? Okay, you need to do that. But the point is, are you able to apply the right distance? Are you able to do at the right time? Are you able to use that to solve a problem? At the end, I use a technique to solve a problem. I have someone who is defending with a side kick, I want to move out and do a reverse punch. It's not that the reverse punch is in the vacuum, it's not in an empty space. I have someone who is giving a problem and I'm using a technique to solve a problem. And when you start to move to do this level, that's why you want people to be independent thinkers. Because at the end they are solving problems. And then at the last level, everything merged. You become one with the fight. I plan my fight before stepping in the fight. I jump in the mech, in the mech I get in the mech, and now I'm totally open to see what is going on. When I see, I read, I react, I don't even think. But the point is that there is a lot of planning here. When they say, okay, you need to, your technique must be automatic. It's not a technique that is automatic, of course, part of the technique, but it's all these things that you want to train to make people be good fighters. And then analyze their mistake. Sometimes, one big point is that you are giving the wrong feedback. You did that at the wrong time. No, that was not the wrong time. That was the wrong distance. Okay, then when you go back to train, and I want to train my psychic, for example, I train my psychic from really close distance because I know that wasn't a problem of technique. That wasn't a problem of distance. I need to learn, and I need to learn how to defend from really short distance because I got in a point where I have to be able to defend from really short distance. Okay? For all, psychic was the wrong choice. Okay? Then, okay, what's the point of training? Because if you say the problem is a technique, you go, both, you go back to the school, and you train 100 psychic. But the feedback is wrong. The feedback you are giving to your students is wrong. The feedback you are giving to yourself is wrong. Then, this is for me is really helpful to give you a map to understand the fight. Then, to structure the training with the right method. And then, to, to, to be able to really to go fast up in the level of the pyramid. At the base of the pyramid, there is the body conditioning. Okay? Of course, you need to be fit. You're right. This is a part of, this is the base of the pyramid, because you need, if the fight is five minutes, the fight is three minutes, if the fight is two minutes, you need to have the body skills to, to sustain that fight. Second, this is, at this level, there is the personal power. There is the confidence. The more I step the outside the, the, to, to grow in this pyramid, to be able to, to go up, you need to have the body conditioning, you need to, to build your confidence, and then I say over to self-experiment. Self-experimentation is always try to move outside your comfort zone. You don't learn, you don't go up in your, in your ability to read the dynamics of the fight if you don't challenge yourself in moving always outside your comfort zone. 
then these are something that is outside the pyramid, these are kind of attitude <coughs> skills you need to have to be able to go over this level and to be able to analyze the fight. Let me go.